Howdy campers and welcome to your seventh JavaScript and the DOM tutorial and in this video I'm going to go through DOM traversal from parent to child and vice versa. Alright then, so now you know what nodes are and what they do. In this tutorial I want to focus on how we can traverse from one node to another node in the DOM. So say for example I have in my JavaScript file a reference to this element node right here, the book list. And from there, if I wanted to, I could grab a reference to its parent node using a property or its children nodes. So I'm going to show you how we can do this now over in the text editor. The first thing I want to do is grab a reference to this book list over here. So I'm going to create a new constant called this book list and set it equal to documents dot query selector. And inside we want to pass in the book list. Okay, so now we have a reference to this element and I want to traverse from there to its parent elements first of all. And there's two different properties we can use to do this. I'm going to log both of them to the console. So I'll say console.log and then inside I'm going to output the parent node is and then after that a comma and we're going to output the parent node. And the way we do this is we grab the node first of all that we want to find the parent of, which is book list. And then we say, ta-da, parent node very surprising okay so this is going to go out and grab a reference to the parent node of this element right here so if we look in the console we can see that the parent node is this div element with an id of wrapper and inside the element tabs we can confirm that there's the book list and there is the div with an id of wrapper that is the direct parent of this dude right here all right so we can also use a slightly different property to output this and they're both going to do pretty much exactly the same thing. So parent elements instead of parent node. That is it. So I'm going to output this to the console as well. And then if we go over to the console, we can see we get it output twice. So about 99 times out of 100, these two things are going to do exactly the same thing and return the same element. Now, if we wanted to, we could kind of chain these together and go one up again. So I will do that. I'm just going to say dot parent element again and what that's going to do is first of all find the parent element of the book list there then find the parent element of that and we're grabbing a reference to that so this time we can see that we grab the body all right so we've gone two levels up first to the wrapper then to the body so that's how we can traverse upwards through the dom using these two different properties now let's have a look at how we can traverse downwards to children and the behavior of this is slightly different so what i'd like to do is first of all log to the console all the node children so we'll say console.log and we're going to log book list and then what we're going to log is child nodes like so all right so if we save this now we can see in the console that we get this collection right here and it's got text then h2 then text then ul then text now what is this text stuff right here well if we take a look we can see in here that we get this kind of arrow which represents a line break okay so whenever we get all the child nodes it's going to return the line breaks as well so when we have an element first of all we have a line break to go to the next line then we have the element node itself then a line break then the element node that's what these things are right here the line breaks so normally we don't really want to grab those do we so we can also get the child elements. And the way we do that is by just saying dot children instead. So if we save this, then we can see this time we just get the element children and not all those text nodes as well. All right. So there we go, my friends. There are some different ways we can grab hold of the parent nodes and the children nodes. 